Hey guys, welcome back. This is Saif with another tutorial from tech for all In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to enable the auto dark mode switching, theme switching, wallpaper switching in Windows 11. Let's start. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will be using a third party application by the name of auto dark mode. You can download it from the GitHub and from Microsoft Store. I have put down the download links in the down below video description. Open Microsoft Store and search for Auto Dark Mode. This is the application that you need to download. You can also download it from the GitHub page. Open a web browser and navigate to this address. Scroll down and then click on this link. Download the newest version of Dark Mode. You will be redirected to the releases page of Auto Dark Mode. All you need to do is now scroll down and then click on the auto dark mode.exe application to download it. After you have downloaded the application, open the auto dark mode switcher. By default, whenever you open it for the first time, the application looks like this and the timing is disabled. You can set it to custom hours to switch between the light mode and dark mode. For example, I want the light mode to be enabled at 8 a.m. and the dark mode to be enabled, for example, at uh, 5 p.m. Or you can simply select to enable the auto dark mode and light mode switch from sunset to sunrise. Whenever you click on this application, the settings app will be automatically opened. You need to turn on the location services and turn on this feature to let the applications access your location. Scroll down. It all looks okay. Now minimize it. And now the switch will happen according to your location. But if you want to automatically switch between dark mode and light mode according to geographic coordinates, all you need to do is select this option and click on geo coordinates for your location. It will automatically open this website. All you need to do is type your location and then click on the find button copy this uh, latitude paste it here and then copy the longitude and then click on apply coordinations now the dark mode will be enabled at 6 18 pm and the light mode will be enabled at 5 32 am because I live in Afghanistan. Under the switch modes, you can enable that uh, do not switch while playing video games if you have a lower end PC and uh, if you are playing games frequently, this is a good option to enable this option and the switch will not happen while you are playing video games. It will happen after you exit the video game. And if you are running this application like me in the laptop, it's good to enable the dark mode when the device is unplugged. It will automatically switch whenever you unplug your PC and your PC runs on the battery mode. You can enter the hotkeys for forcing light mode, forcing dark mode, and also to stop the forcing dim. All you need to do is put the hotkeys for these three and then enable it because you can only edit the hotkeys while they are disabled. Under the apps menu, you have an option to select that whether all the applications should be in light mode, dark mode, or the switch should be disabled, or should they adapt to the system. I recommend that you choose adapt to the system. And the system should always adapt to the system. You can also choose an accent color for the taskbar. And for those who are regularly using Microsoft Office, they have also an option to enable the light mode, dark mode, and also to adapt to the system. But by default, it is disabled because you can switch the teams from the inside Microsoft Office. You have a tool by the name of Dark Reader, which will be installed in the browsers like Chrome, Firefox, and Edge, and it will force all the websites to respect the system theme. For example, you open a website that does not have any dark mode, but whenever you download the Dark Reader and enable it in the browser, that specific website will automatically adapt itself to the system. Under personalization, you have an option to choose pick a wallpaper. All you need to do is click on this application, enable the wallpaper switch, select the light mode or dark mode theme, 
select the type of the picture and then the monitor that it should be displayed on. You can also choose wallpapers by clicking on the pic file. Choose all the pictures and then click on open. I am not interested in the wallpaper switch mode. Let's go back. Click on the pick a deem, enable deem switcher. Now all you need to do is uh, select the deem for the light mode and then select the deem for the dark mode. You can also create your custom deem and then select it from here for the dark mode and light mode. Let's turn it off for now. Let's go back to the settings. Under settings, you have an option that the application should be using the 12 hours clock or 24 hours clock. Also, you have another option that the icon should be hidden in the tray, but I don't recommend it. You can also enable the energy saver mitigation for Deem switch. Under language, you can select the language. You can check for update of this application by clicking on this button. And also you can enable and disable the automatic update check. Currently it is chosen to seven days that in seven days it will check for update. If you want to check for update when the dark mode start, you can enable this option or automatically download and install the new versions without showing you any notification by enabling these two options. You have an option to go between the stable and beta channel, but I recommend that you go with the stable one. Also, you can open the config file, the log file, and also the config folder. I recommend that you enable this option that it should automatically start when the system turns on so that you don't have to open the applications manually. And then you have an option to refresh the auto start, and this is the installation path. Under the about menu, it shows the current version and also the GitHub page and the third party applications that are used to create this auto dark mode application. And that's all for today, guys. I hope this video have helped you. If you need any help, comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe if you love the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we are currently closer to 1000 subscribers and ready for the monetization. Click on the subscribe button to support that. I will catch you very soon with another one. Till then. Have a nice time.